Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can use um, inside a CDS view, multiple CDS views. So let me tell you the requirement. The requirement is in one, I need all the POs that have uh, that have uh, open goods receipt. Okay. So here what we are going to do is first we are going to, we have already created a CDS view okay with this so the this if you notice this is just the cds view which determines all the invoices so let me execute and just show you how it works so here you can see all these are invoices okay now what what we are going to do just close this let me close this a bunch so that it's it's not here okay so here this is the one so the next one which we built is for one so v gap one is for goods receipt okay so now i'll execute this and here we'll get anything that has goods receipt now my next requirement is what we are going to build and what we have already built is um, anything that has the goods receipt minus the invoice receipt is more than one okay where the amount is more than one so in these cases how we can get those okay so here it's pretty simple what we did is we defined a view a sinker and here if you notice this is a cds view this is the one which is this one this is par part three you see this is the cds view and here this is for the goods receipt one and here i have done this and then we did the inner join which is the invoice one okay as we and then so if i want i can give some description here this is for gr uh, cds and this is the invoice cds invoice CDS and here if you notice here we just did the joining condition and all those things and here we get all the details a total and this and we get and when we execute if I execute here okay yes what I'll do is I'll just activate it and here once I execute this now here it will ask for something i'll just give though the parameter is there it's not used here i get only the goods receipt that has invoice less than so these are all the open ones so in this way we can we used we used two cds views for calculating this minus this and the other field values were the same this is pretty easy and you can use this uh, as a reference so in this way you can call a cds view inside a cds view where you have all the calculation and use it accordingly so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a great day